on Thursday, another weather system, so bright and first. Gee, the headlines on Meridian tonight. A 16-year-old boy is critically ill after taking ecstasy. His parents are at his bedside. And keeping her promise, Sally Becker returns to Albania to rescue 12 children and their families. For all the day's news, the sport and the weather, join Fred Danage and me live at 6 for Meridian tonight. From the studios of ITN, the early evening news with John Suchet. Good evening. Prince Edward and Sophie Rhys-Jones finally ended years of will-they-won't-they they speculation today and announced they're getting married. The wedding will be in late spring or early summer and is likely to be at St George's Chapel in Windsor. The Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh said they were thrilled. In front of the media outside St James's Palace, the Prince and his fiancée held hands and kissed and said they were very much in love. Prince Edward revealed his proposal had taken Sophie by surprise. Her reply, yes, yes please. Our first report is 5.40 tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hello, good evening. Well, it's no wonder Britain's weather is always a talking point. Some days it's just bizarre, and today was one of them. This cold front has produced hours of rain, as you can see on the radar pictures across Wales, the Midlands, up towards Yorkshire and Lincolnshire. The roads are awash, there's localised flooding, but just a few miles to the south and east of that, in the London region, we've had the warmest January day on record. That's for over 150 years, so dramatic contrast today. What's going to happen through tonight and tomorrow? This weather front will move across the southeast, taking its rain away by the morning. This little ridge of high pressure will give many of us a bright start tomorrow. But then already in the west, you'll have the next lot of wet and windy weather, and that's going to sweep eastwards across all parts of Britain through the day tomorrow. And then it's all changed again for the weekend. You can see the low pressure forming in the south and east. That's likely to pull much colder weather in from the north and east. There may even be some wintry showers around by Saturday, so a big change on the way. But let's concentrate on the next 24 hours first of all. As far as the night's concerned, the rain that is still currently across Wales, the Midlands and the northeast will come down across the southeast this evening, clearing away overnight. Clear skies for many then for a while. A touch of frost in the north, perhaps some icy patches, one or two mist and fog patches too. But by the end of the night, the next lot of rain just knocking on the door out in the west there. In fact, through tomorrow morning, that's going to come across Ireland. And by lunchtime, it'll be many western parts of Britain, cloudy and wet, as you see there. The east, a bright start. But this cloud and rain will be sweeping pretty quickly, I think, north and east through the day. And by this time tomorrow, most of us will see it with some brighter weather to follow for Northern Ireland. As for the temperatures, much colder in the south tomorrow, typically around 7 or 8. Here's a summary. Power, Jim. Power, whatever the weather. passengers a day catch the bus and it's highly unlikely they'll ever face any trouble. Public transport horror stories in police camera action. And the new high-tech voice of the law means the sky's the limit for law enforcement. Police camera action tonight at 8.30 on ITV. In our hostile world. You can build a nuclear bomb in a suitcase. They could be our best defense. The package you were smuggling wasn't drugs. Customs and excise. A new leader. Who's that David Ankrum? Stand by. Can't say like style. A new threat. Run for a big delivery. What sort of nuclear device are we talking about here? Everybody clear now. The team from City and South are back. A new series of The Knock starting Thursday at 9 on ITV. Is a romantic meal the way to Chris Tate's heart? Emmerdale's at 7 o'clock. <laughs>